Hello and welcome to another episode on the restoration of this Royal Standard 32 bass accordion. In the last episode I demonstrated the tuning of the treble side and I'm happy with the with that tuning and the next step is just to check the tuning on the bass side now as I'm playing it, I'll just put it on um, I can listen out for anything which I think is a bit odd and if I do f listen and hear a particular chord or a particular note which is sounding a bit off then that will give me some kind of first indications as to what might need to be done. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to play the bass side and just have a first listen to before I start tuning it and see what see what's going on. Um, so I'm going to push in the ball. that one there not that D on the push of course sounds good maybe a little bit off on the push and that one as well which would be the uh, A sounds a bit sharp maybe That's a D sharp. Maybe on the push. So there's a few little notes which may be sounding a bit off, but not major. And on the whole, it sounds pretty good. So let me show you what I'll do to just check the tuning on this bass side. Okay. The first thing I do is take off the accordion and I'm going to just go into take off the bass side of the accordion so I can get to the bass reeds. So standard thing, just get my little block. Take out the pins. Put them in the right place. And then let's have a little look. In there. Now, one thing that we have got on this little accordion is the base, the lowest two sets of reeds on the base side. That reed block is. Uh, glued into the base side so I can't take that reed block out but that's all right so let's just take that off put that down carefully so it's not going to get damaged there we go so this these two sets of reeds here are glued in so they'll have to stay where they are so I think the first thing I'm going to do is take out the reed block that I can take out which is this one here so I'm just going to get a little tool to do that. I've got a special little tool here. And then just grab it. I've just got a little socket actually because that will fit on there. Make sure I get it way around. Hehehe. <laughs> Quite pleased with that in my kind of pleased kind of way. Just another little tool just for helping. Not world breaking in any way, but uh, world shutting. It's just, just that. I just found it in my shed. So that will do. Okay. 
Two things I'm going to do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tape over the, the holes here where the pallets are covering up for this set of reeds I've just taken, two sets of reeds I've just taken out. And then I'm going to put the accordion back together and I can play it again. And this time all I'll hear is the two lowest sets of reeds. Um, and then from there I'm going to have a little listen and just See if I can pick up, if I can hear any uh, mistuning of it, of those two sets of reeds just by listening to them. And hopefully I should be able to pick up any little things that need to be changed. So let me show you how I do that then. So I'm going to get some electrical tape. And I'm just going to tape over those pallet holes. Electrical tape's really good because it's, it's it's sticky enough, but it comes off easily and it doesn't leave any kind of residue. It doesn't cause any problems, and it's cheap. Well, that's about it, really. But that's not bad. A small piece of electrical tape. So let's just tape that off. There we go. So next thing then, I'm going to put the accordion back together, leave that reed block out, just put that to one side, let's put it back together and then have another listen with just those two sets of reeds playing. So just give me a sec while I put it back together again. I won't film this bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to play the bass note, not the chords. So the bass notes is the first row here. I haven't got a counter bass row on this accordion. So when I play the bass notes now, all I'm going to hear, rather than hearing four notes, I'm just going to hear two notes, the two lowest sets of reeds. Uh, and so I'm going to have a little listen so you can, I can hear both notes now. If I just play the C. <laughs> so I can hear the two notes together and to my my ear, that sounds nice, so I'm going to leave that C alone. Let's get a pencil. So let's go to the G. And again, that sounds to me like it's actually fine, so let's try the, the D. This is going to be the A. Okay, so on the push, the higher of the two notes is sounding sharp. I can just hear that. So push, make a little note. And now we're coming up to the E. Now on the E, on the pull, the higher of the two notes was sharp. I can hear that. There. That sounds fine. So now we're going from the C to the F. That's right. And then B flat. And then another E flat. Okay, so not much there. I think I've got the A on the push was a bit sharp on the higher read, and the E on the pull was a little bit sharp. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm now going to go back in and get these straps off. And I'm just going to make a little adjustment to those two reeds. And see if I can just change the pitch very slightly. So, just take it all apart again. I won't film this bit, but I'll show you when I've got it all apart. Okay, so I've now got the accordion apart. Let me just focus it down there a little bit. Get my tummy out of the way. I really don't want to see that. There we go. So I've got my tuning tools just ready here. Uh, so now I've got the A and the E to look at. And it was the higher of the two sounds of the two pitches that was causing a little issue. So this, this, these ones here. So my A is that one. And the, the A on the push was running a bit sharp. So what I'm going to do with the reed block still in, because I can't um, take it out, I'm going to support that e, that E reed, A reed, sorry, like so. And I'm going to get my one of my little scratchy scratchy things. And all I'm going to do then is just take a little bit off the somewhere between halfway and the tip of that reed. It's difficult doing it when the reed block's in. there and then I'll test that again in a second and the second one was the E which is that one just double check that but yeah that one but this was on the pull now that means it's the inside read so this is where I'm gonna to have to be a little bit careful here so I'm going to carefully pull back the valve if when you do this the valve gets a bit damaged there's no problem because you can just pull that valve off and glue another one so it doesn't matter but I'm going to pull it back and then I get my little scratcher and again I'm just going to go in somewhere halfway between the rivet and the halfway point go so that's now made a little tuning adjustment and the next step is just to pop it back in put things back together have a listen and it may be that that wasn't quite enough I didn't do that much I might have to do a tiny bit more but uh, it's always best to do a little bit and then check so let's put it back together I'll just feel it when I've got it back together again and I'll show you what it sounds so the A on the push <laughs> I'm happy with that, but on the E on the pull, still a little bit off, so I think I need to go back in and just do a tiny bit more on that E on the pull, and that should just get it just nice. So I'm just going to do that now. Okay, so now I've done that, I can now test that out. with that so it's now sounding as I want it to sound so in the next step is I'm gonna have a look at the tuning on the other two sets of reeds now this is a little bit tricky and the reason that's tricky is because the other two sets of reeds are gonna be playing chords so they're gonna be playing three notes at a time when you play the the, the, the buttons and that's quite hard to isolate the three notes from each other so you can kind of check the tuning in the accordion now I know it's not sounding too bad so that's good so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check the tuning of these out of the accordion uh, and I do know that once you put it back in it does change slightly but what I'm going to do is just put it through my my bellows test bellows 
and get my tuner app on my phone and just look for any kind of serious tuning issues with these reeds uh, and if there are any just do a bit of remedial work um, but if they all look to be pretty good I'll leave them be so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna get my tuning area ready and then I'll show you how I do that okay so I've got my little bellows attached to the desk with a hole in it that's why I can use my knee to just push air through the little hole and that, what I can do now I can play each reed on the push of the pull have a look at the tuning make some tuning notes in my little notebook here now there's a little interesting thing because this base reed block has got that kind of slot opening well, obviously, rather than two holes if I just play one note what happens when I do the bellows I can hear both of them now I don't want to have both of them because it's really hard to to measure the pitch with two notes playing at the same time so all I'm going to do is while I'm testing a note I'm just going to carefully put my thumb on the other reed on the other side and just quiet and silent that one without doing any damage so then I can just have a listen so let's have a start in the middle I'm just going to just quieten that one So on the pull on that C it was a little bit flat so only by a slight bit of flat on that C on the push it was fine so if I then go to the, the next note And again on that G on the pull it was a little bit flat. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through the notes, make my tuning notes and make a little note of uh, which notes might be a little bit sharp and a little flat and by how much and then I'll do a little bit of tuning on these reeds. So let me just make my tuning notes and then I'll show you what, what I'm going to do with the actual tuning of the reed. Okay, just to show one here, uh, I noticed that the D, that one there, was a little bit sharp on the push, just by a little sort of smidge. So if I just get my tuning material, get my knife, and to get my little blade, so on the push is the outside reed that like so I'm just going to do a little bit like that and then check it again so this is where I'm just eliminating kind of significant tuning issues if it's very close I might possibly just leave it put the reed black reed block back in and just listen but I'm looking for any kind of deviations from the the tuning which are kind of quite significant so I've got my my tuning notes so I'm just going to go along all of these and just pick up any winds which are kind of veering away from the, the correct tuning by a significant really amount and then I'm just going to put it back in again and have a listen and see what these sound like so I'm just going to crack on with that right so I've done the um base side tuning. <clears throat> I quite pleased really because I only needed minimal tuning uh, of a few notes really. It's sounding nice. So this is now finished. Uh, I've given it a little polish and a little you know, just a kind of finish cleaning up. Actually I'll just show you a little bit of a look at it. Uh, just turn it around that way. There we go. It's looking nice. Yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is I'll just play a little few tunes on it and just show what this little Royal Standard 
24 base. Sounds like. So I'm just put this down here a second. Yep. Just get the accordion on. So here we have finished accordion, ready for sale. Hope somebody will enjoy playing this one. And let's have a little play. So. Thanks for watching. Hope you found that interesting and useful. And uh, be back soon with another little video. Okay, bye for now.